Greetings, everyone. How's it going? Happy Saturday to you all. Happy Saturday indeed. I'm just going to kit out a new ship to go into the maelstrom and do some human mining for the humans that are knocking around in there. Um, I think we're going to start with a... Python. Let's try this one. Let's see what we got on this one. And again, it we get some stuff going on. Boom. 07. Commander Eagle Blue. 07 to you. So I'm on my carrier. I'm not too far away uh, from a lot of things. Gonna try and reduce some weight. Because I'm not going to go mixing it up with different things here and there. All I want, really, is a decent ship. Everything looks okay there. We can drop the shield generator, keep the cargo rack, drop that. I don't think we're going to need the fuel scoop on this one. You won't need the vehicle hanger. What you want is some good collector limpets and whatnot. That's what we want. So let's move that. Um, let's have a look. Let's take that out. See what we can put in in place. We need collector limpet. That's what we need. We need a good old collector limpet. How many active limpets can I have floating around? That's the thing. Um, we will go with... So you're not getting that much if you go for the five. You just get, you just get one more, don't you? You know? It's just, it's just ridiculous. We'll go with the 3A. Equip. Right, and we'll pop that all the way down there. In there. <clears throat> uh, what we got in regards to repair limpets? Let's have a look. What we got? Fuel scoop, hutch breaker. We don't want any of that. We want a multi limpet controller, perhaps. Operations one isn't bad. But we don't really need that. We need a repair limpet. There we go. We got one. 5A repair limpet. We'll have some of that. That's what we need. Right, brilliant. But all of that, all of that, all of that, all of that. In the utility mount, what do we need up here? We need a heat sink launcher. We need a Thargoid pulse wave analyzer, is what we really want. Yeah, Thargoid pulse wave scanner. And we need a caustic sink launcher. We'll equip that. And then I want a pulse wave neutralizer, which I probably have on one of my other ships. Let's bring some armor into this as well. Let me see. What can we have here? Well, we got hell reinforcement wise. We got some stuff knocking about. We can transfer some stuff over. Some stuff will take a while, so we'll, we'll use the four. Move that down. In that one, so we've got a module, we've got a module, we've got a module reinforcement package as well. We'll have that, pop that in there. Lovely. Another compartment. It's pointless me taking in too much because 64 capacity is going to be ample for what I'm doing, if I can even get there, right? So I think that's, that's probably going to be worthwhile. Um, I need to find a ship that's got a pulse wave neutralizer on it that I can rip out, stick in the new ship. Yes, we are going to do the rescues. Electro Ace 07, Q 
Cutie Rescue. Yes, exactly. Art 07. Keat 07. And 1MMJCV86Q. That hardly rolls off the tongue, dude. Uh, but 07 Commanders. In fact, 07 to everyone in the chat. So I'm looking for a pulse wave neutralizer on one of my ships. That's the one, the Caustic Hunter. That is the one. That's a fast old ship, that is. We got a sub service extraction missile, we got a beam laser. Caustic sink, heat sink, pulse wave xeno scanner, thargoid pulse wave neutralizer. Optional internal, what can we bang in here? Not a lot, because I've put it on the other ship. <laughs> oh, dear. And so we've got a module, we've got a hull, we can get another hull in there as well. Right, okay, that's so what we'll do. We'll rip them out that python, and we'll stick them onto that, and that'll be the ship we use. I was going to use a python, right? But to be fair, I think it was that one. Um, we might as well use that gunship I've been messing about with. So let's go into optional... Let's uh, store that, store that. We, we kind of got everything else. We can store that, we don't need that. Brilliant. Now, none of those are engineered, so we're not really losing out on anything. Let's go back to that gunship. The Caustic Hunter. There you go. So, Wales just beat Georgia in the rugby. Good game, actually. It was very good. It wasn't as, as clean as what they all thought it was going to be by the look of it. Um, so the hard point, this is where we're rocking. Um, I want to adjust where this hard point is, I think. I think I want to swap. Swap that around. I want to swap that up here. And I want that subsurface extraction missile, which is the new module that they've got, right? Oh, Arch, you've got to have a fleet carrier. You've you got to have one. We're going to pop that in there. Up on the top so we can see what we're doing. Uh, we can dip the nose if we have to. So, um, Cossack Sink -Sink Launcher. Okay, brilliant. Yes, 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 yes. Well, that's fine. Thrusters are fine. Um, we got a cargo rack by there. 32 in it. That's fine. Let's pop in that hull reinforcement package. And then let's pop in a module reinforcement package right there. So we've got hull and module reinforcement. That's all lovely. Got a collector limpet. Also very lovely. I could put another one in there, as it happens. Collect Olympics. Why would I? I don't think I need to. I really don't think I need to. Um, right, brilliant. Lovely. Fantastic. We've got 32 tons of cargo space. Plus that down there. 33 tons. We're going to fill them full of, the, full of, full of, full of, full of Olympics. And we're going to rock. That's what we're going to do. Got our hard points. Lovely. Let's just make sure the hard points are right. Fire groups. So the extraction missile and a beam laser. There you go. I'm sure there's something wrong. But everything looks to be kind of okay. Right, all right then. So, here we go. Uh, what are we going to do? Blah, blah, blah. Limpets. Purchase limpets. I'll have all of the limpets. Confirm. Excellent. Four. Uh, got our repair limpet. Got our collector limpet. Got our scanners. Great. Fan flipping tastic. That's what I say. Now, I've already 
gone out and rescued some people. Here we go. Get my joystick ready. Launch it up. Where are we going? We are going to Tyrannis. Titan Tyrannis. My Bristol, Bristol accent. That's where we're going. View the system map. Plot that route in. Lifting off. This is a fast old ship. See? Super sneaky and fast. It's dark grey, orange and redness. Yes. It's what it is. It's what it's all about. Right, so, here's the plan. We're going to fly in, hopefully avoiding Thargoids, but we know they're going to give us some beef. We're going to have a good go, and I've done this a couple of times now, right? And it's kind of all right. I wasn't really expecting it to be a mining thing. I was hoping for a little bit of ground combat. And away we go. Narco Wookiee, 07. Fish sticks, 07. Right, let's get cracking then. We're going to jump. Here we go. We're on our way. So I say I've done this a couple of times. A bit fiddly with the placement of the caustic. Um, not the caustic. The surface displacement missile, right? A little bit finicky, that is. What I, what I mean by finicky? Well, it's a bit funny. Um, it's all about module placement. I struggled with the Anaconda. Then I sorted it out and it went in okay. Then I changed to this ship. And then, like, you know, away you go. But the way I see it, it's kind of... It's very difficult to get right first time. Anyway, what I'm saying is it's not quite straightforward. It should be straightforward, but it isn't. Oh, the Titan farming cutter. Yeah, and you were a little bit disappointed it turned it out to be like a mining thing. You and your cat are watching the stream. Well, there you go. So we're being hyper my dicted. Yeah, we are boosting. Who is in hot pursuit? There he is, look. The state of that. See if we can burn him off. Well, you know, it's we don't we don't um, differentiate. All viewers are viewers. I hope the cat has liked and subscribed. Right, we're off. We're off. We are. Here we go. Boosting, boosting. Right, here we go. Tyrannis, Tyrannis. Let's go to Tyrannis. Also, they were filming Doctor Who in Cardiff. 
High Street last night. That was quite interesting. 25 foot snowman. God, I love Doctor Who. It's so completely off, off this planet, it's unbelievable. Okay, we're on our way. See, a small little ship like this is not bad. Right, we're going to play a little bit of music. Slow it down a bit. You don't want to go rushing in. At least I got some armor on this time. I should last a little bit longer. As long as that cat's purring, that's okay. Yeah, there we go. I knew I was going to be interdicted again. Keeping that boost up. Here we go. Charging once again. Just setting that throttle to about 70%. Don't want to go zoom in past it, do we? Because that would be embarrassing. Around the side of the planet. And then we'll swing round and engage Tyrannus. There he is. All good stuff. We're probably going to get interdicted again. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. This is not an optimum build. It's just something I threw together in a ship that I don't really use very often. And I thought, well, you know, you've got to get use out of your ship. So you might as well just sell them. Right, we've incurred no damage. We're on our way. We're turning the lights on. We're going to head straight for him. We are incurring caustic damage. But there's seven in there, so we should be okay. We are on our way, everyone. He's waking up. He's going to do his pulsy thing. Here it comes. We're ready on the trigger. Here it is. I wish there was a key binding, you know, for the caustic sink. that caustic damage coming in now. Yeah, we're, we're going to be through.
Right. Where is he? He's going to be right there in front of us. You can see him. Caustic. Caustic damage is still increasing. Right, now. We gotta see if we can get this right. Incoming missiles. Someone's woken up already. We're looking for these heat exchangers here. And we're gonna try and hide. We're going to try and hide and hope he goes away. I think he's gone away. Good. He's gone away, he has. Cargo hatch down, everyone. Right, cargo hatch down. Let's get some collectors in the air. Let's repair while we're at it. Release that caustic sink. Right. Here we go. Where's the extractor? There it is. Subsurface. Whatever you call it. Storage chamber. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, let's see if we can do it. No. There we go. We're looking for that little blue sweet spot. There it is. They're released. Go on in, limpet. It ejected them quite far, didn't it? But sometimes when the scythe spots this, right, they send their own thin pits out as well. The pulse neutralizer can be, it's the caustic sink. Just got to try and get as many as we can. How are we doing on ship's inventory? Okay. Bargoid bio storage capsules. No less. Ah, incoming missiles. Oh dear, someone spotted us. Can we get a bit lower? Perhaps we can. Who's having a go? See, there's one over there. There he is. He's gone. I can see you. Couple of sight. There he is. He's coming in. Look, he's coming right in. We're gonna run away. Someone shooting me. They've seen me.
We're gonna hide under here. It's all going wrong. Try and hide somewhere. Right in this crevice, right there. It's not looking good, is it? I think we're gonna have to foxtrot Oscar. He's gonna pulse. Something's going wrong. It's not looking good for us. Kaboom. <laughs> oh, Simon, how's it going? Well, at least I didn't lose 40 odd million like I would have done beforehand. But it just does just mean you've kind of only got time, I think, of going here to release one and then get out before they, they become alerted to your presence. Right, so it's kind of one of those things. Well, I did better with the anaconda, simply because the anaconda is a big old beast. And it affords you um, the time, right, to hang around in there. You can take more damage. These things, you can take that sort of damage, right? Um, even though they're tough little ships. Can I put any more in it? What have I got? Oh, I can. Let's generate a mod. See, we're getting more hit points here now. Which is good stuff. That's the problem. The Conda can't run. It's a heavy old beast. Okay, so what we've done there is we've we've really sort of like beefed beefed ourselves up a bit. Um yeah, I'm kind of stuck with what I got there, to be honest. I'm all right with it. Um, low emissions power plant. Yeah, great. Nothing else we can really do, to be honest. Heat sink launchers. I mean, yeah, that's done. Um... I, I'm out of mechanical scrap, even though it has been sorted. So let's try again. Because it's, like I say, it's a fast ship. It's fast and nimble. Go in, get a couple, get out. I think the answer here is put in another collector limpet controller. I think. I think that could be the answer. And it just so happens I have one. Here it is. We'll have that one in there. Right. And we'll sort our bindings out now. The bigger ship. I mean, yeah. I can get in. Just about get out as well. Now I need to put the caustic sink... On with the neutralizer. That's what I need. And then move the Xeno scan. Right there. Is 
that's what I think we need there. Okay. Woo. So Simon, that's bold claims, my good man. You want to bring back over a hundred or two hundred pods at once? I'm lucky to get out with nine. I think I've got nine in my carrier's inventory in storage. Um let's see, what did I bring back? What are they called? Thargoid bio storage capsules. Nine! Anyway, what's the worst that can happen? Um, event maintenance. Purchase limpet. All right, we're not going to go 33. We're going to go 25, right? So we've got a bit of space to instantaneously get in there and get what we got to get. If you know what I mean. Tyrannus. Yeah, you've got to get it in that little blue section, haven't you? I mean, this is more cost effective than the other ships, to be fair, because you're losing what? I don't know, 40 million? Some of that with the Anaconda, whatever the rebuy. With this, the rebuy is something daft like, I don't know, three. So, I'm alright with that. I'm not taking these straight to the um, rescue ships either. I feel there's a community goal coming. I don't get to use the gunship very often. DJ Burt tried five times. <laughs> it's fiddly. Well, we're gonna we're gonna attempt to to show people how it's done. At least get the extraction done, and then, in regards to it, getting out alive. Well, that's a different story, isn't it? Oh, we got a high prediction. I'm not particularly tooled up for any messing about either. Who is it? Who's giving us the beef? Ah, it's one of them, look. This boosts into 485. I could get this going fast if I had the materials, which I haven't. But never mind. Here we go. Got a bit more armor on it. Might help. Don't even know what the ship stats are. What's the armor? 2178. It's not bad. For a little ship. So I got nine. When did I do the video? Not last night, night before. Go, go, go. Yeah, do you know what? It, it, it's harder than what it looks. Interdiction evaded. There he is. Good old Tyrannus. So that's the third interdiction. Nah, 
scouts this time, look. There's no point mixing it all up with them. Because you're only suddenly going to cost you your hell, and that's not what we're there for. So what do we all think about these, these extraction ship kits then? They look very much like the hazard ship kits. Fifth interdiction. Well, we're going to see if we can get this sorted out and at least get back with some anyway. I'm going to go in. We're going to fire off our collectors. Lovely, marvellous. See what happens. And then we're going to sneak in. We're going to sneak out. None of this. But I'm going to take some nice graphic shots as I go in like I was the last time. We're going to go in nice and sneaky. It's in the boost. Pummeling that boost button. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to get in there. So I've been watching the rugby. Rugby's been good. Work's been mental. And I'm due another trip to the States. So I've got to start thinking about that as well. And update 17's coming out. Week after next. So it's all go. Plus, it seems that farming simulator videos are on the rise. I think perhaps, is it Xbox or PlayStation have released it onto their portal? They have gone through the roof. I thought, oh, I really enjoy playing farming simulator. I really should do a bit more. I'm still plugging away at Starfield. Doing some missions and things, which are good. Right, I feel an interdiction coming in my water. I like farming simulator. Right, we are boosting towards that sausage. Right, got my fire groups ready. Caustic sink is rising. We are boosting in. And we're 58 clicks away from Tyrannus. Here we go. We're getting in there. It's certainly quicker in these smaller ships. He's pulsing. Here we go. And we're through. Gonna drop a heat sink. Dropping a caustic sink. And we're through. We are through. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? I think they've increased where you, you incur caustic damage as well. Anyway. Right. Where is he? There he is. It's 
get a bit of a repair on. Walk in nice and quiet like. Nice and stealthy. We are frostier than Frosty the Snowman's frosty bits. They only seem to be on one side, don't they? Ah, it's woken up now, look. Everyone's turned up. We are running at 18. There's the heat vent. Good for us. Right, now. Let's see if we can find it. Here we go. There's one right there. Cargo rack down. Right. We got two limpets in the air. Brilliant. There it is. Let's try it. No, go down a bit. There we go. Right. Got to be cunning on this. There we go. Let's try and let's try and stay frosty, shall we? As frosty the snowman as we possibly can. And that beam laser has got thermal vent on it. DJ Burt, 07, Stormlinks, BS Plays, and Will. Nearly wore out the 07 commander button then. Right, where is everybody? This could be the way. We are frosty cold. What we're going to do is we're going to go for another one. Because we're being greedy, obviously. Damn, I think I knobbed them. Oh no, I got some. Switch to beam laser mode. We'll do as well. Let's get another repair on the go. I'm making it look easy. No, <gasps> I've already died once. I've only been on it 47 minutes. All that can change.
It's gonna say cargo hatch full in a minute. You watch. I got nine in my first extraction, and when I when you count them, it's about twenty four, twenty five, in it. I suppose the answer is slowly, slowly catchy monkey. Yeah, look. I'm full. I'm full to the brim. I can't even bring any more back, Captain. But there you are. Look, you're getting a good look at that now. Look at it. Now I got two of them. Total gridlock. What I need to do is drop some limpets. And now it's picking up me limpets. Best put limpets on my ignore list. Okay, so cargo hold at maximum capacity. Um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Pulse wave Xeno scanner. Any more for any more by here? Perhaps we can be greedy and sort of like walk around the other way. There's one that's just come into range. He's probably gone, Oi, what are you doing here? What for be going on? Oh, here we go, look. There you go. Right, I'm going to drop some limpets, who were misses. Like that. Did I drop them? I think I did. Mode. Jobby. Missed. A little bit below because it's it's the placement of the of the drill. There we go. Damn, I missed it. I muffed that one. If you miss it, that ruins the pod. Temperature's rising a little bit. Don't like it. They're going to be able to see me. Here we go. Yes. Switching modes to beam lasers. Go fly, my pretties. Bring me back to them. The flying monkey limpets. Yeah, it's getting too hot. They don't look human, do you? Do they? Do they? No, they don't. You're right. We're going to get as many as we can, and then we're off. And then we're going to do something for science. Because we like a bit of science. There was a shutdown wave fired off then. Is anybody here angering up the Thargoids? Because I'm in my private group. I 
see Thargoid Thimpits are out there doing their thing as well. Look, I mean, there's a Thimpit in hot pursuit, look. Yeah, suck that, Thimpit. How are we doing on cargo space? Hmm. Not bad. What? Is a foreign body attached? How very dare you. You nick all my stuff. Don't jettison my cargo, you sausage. Oh, look at this. Look. Look. Look at it. Got to pick them all up again now. And there's the Thargoid Thimpits having a go. You see, we do this for science, so you don't have to. And the Thimpits are guarding them, so it seems... Yeah, I could do, couldn't I? How many have I got? 17. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to ram him. Get out of the way. They don't like it up them. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try and get out. Um, I just don't know, the, can't remember the right way to get in. So, um... Right, I think we're done. What have you got here? Brilliant. We could probably do a few more, yeah? Um, contacts. Remove from the ignore list. I'm all, all over the place. It's all my limpets there. Right, let's orientate ourselves. Might have to go round the other side. It's a tissue limpet point. We don't want that. Don't want to get caught there when that opens. Time to get a bit hot again. Cool us down a bit. Okay. Some over there. If 
Well, let's cool ourselves down, eh? Not that I think that made any... What's going on? I think they're on to us. I'm flying a federal assault ship. Here we go. Right, we're in. Damn. It's still there though, but I can't get it. I've 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 broken I've broken the, the area. Right. Brilliant. And then we're gonna get over there. See the scythe, they're on it. They are on it like a car bonnet. And as you release them, they're after them as well, you see. Ooh, it's heavy stuff. It is quite fast. About 460, I haven't really got it fully engineered. The limpets are off doing their funky stuff, which is great. That you know what that one's got. Probably another limpet. It's kind of like I've outstayed my welcome now, and it's time for me to foxtrot Oscar off. No idea where that's going. Anyway. That was a good shout. Right? We got a couple. We're off. They know they're after me. Look at that. We're off. Oh, Tyrannus is not looking very happy. I am blasting that boost button. I'm running away. I'm going to list lazily to the left. Like Han Solo did. I'm going to get a bit of a spin on. I'm not even sure that's really going to be... This is indeed the problem. It's not looking good, is it? It seems that a lot of things are now being disabled. Deader. Going in, getting them isn't the problem. Getting out is the problem. No problem. We had loads there. Loads of other humans there lost their lives. Lost the worst that can happen. We'll have another go. So the beam to cool you down is a definite, right? Um, not having too many limpets is a definite. 
So if we look at the build we've got here then, definitely, definitely, definitely. I mean, to be fair, hmm. that one there, well, it's kind of is what it is, isn't it? You know, I mean, I could get a few more in. I don't need the anti-corrosion. Um, limpets. I think I stayed too long and they were on to me. So we're going to go for, I don't know, 22. That gives us a bit of wiggle room for what we're doing. Let's get in again. So there you go, that's two ships gone. I haven't rescued anyone yet. what it's all about, isn't it? Right. Let's have another go. For science. The ship runs around about that. When you go through the pulse wave, that increases heat. There's the caustic sink problem as well. That's also a problem. There's quite a few problems. In fact, this ship is lacking one utility hard point to make it, you know, an OP ship. Just got to stay away from whatever that is. It's a side. So I've taken flight assist off, assist off, so we don't slow down. We can potentially just stay at that speed. It's going to shut us down now. That's our frame shift drive disabled. Here we go. And they're fast little swines as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, frame shift drive. Ah, we're on. We're off. Go. I think what I'll do, to reduce it even more, I'll turn the frame shift drive off when I'm in the, um... Yeah, silent running mode would be good, provided I can get in there with enough heat sinks. That could be a winner. You're right there, Chester. Damn, I'd forgotten about that. Good point, you're here. We're off again. Here we go. Come on, come on. Right, Tyrannis. Where is he? Over there.
Interdictions, interdictions, loads of interdictions. Scouts, by the look of it. Yeah, I think I got... I stayed there too long. I mean, I chopped four. I think perhaps two. Get in, get out. Might be... Might be all right. It's a little ship. Don't forget. You know? Right, here we go. I feel another interdiction coming on. I can feel it in my bones. But as soon as we drop, I'm heading straight for the center of Tyrannus. Said there'd be an interdiction, didn't I? Blood Trooper, how's it going? Oh, we're rescuing people from the Titans. Is what we're doing. Yeah, those fast boot ones are probably a good way of doing things. If I add one. Um, I typically tend to go for the extended range on the FSD. But that might be a good, good way of doing things. Oh my god! They really want me... Always interdicted up the trumpet, it's unbelievable! 07 Inglorious. Come on, we gotta get some. We gotta get in and get out with some. Will there be another interdiction? Who knows? Place your bets now, please. If you think there'll be another interdiction. Oh, look at that. They're after the Ricardo today. Who is it? It's no one there. Scared him off. It's going to be a quick jump. It's probably the best one. Who uh, misses? Here we go, 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 go. And there we are. Right, we know he's there. That's where he is. Right. Right. So that is... One caustic sink down. We are hammering towards him. He's going to get all angry any second. Here we go.
Here we go. Here he comes. Caustic sink damage. Ooh, caustic sinks. We are through. Very nearly. Right. Where is it? Because he's in there somewhere. There he is. Look, you can see him. Right. We'll go in now, all nice and cool like. Get some repairing on the go. Got our limpets in the air. We need to cool ourselves down a bit. There you go, we're all nice and cool. Scan him up. Come on, there should be some there, should there, there we go. We'll start with this one. Too close, obviously. Here we go. Brilliant. Oh, come on. Muffin this up, innit? I? Shit. Panicking, I am. I'm panicking. We got a few anyway. Right, brilliant. Switch mode, beam lasers. Well, what's going on down here? Don't say I'm already full. I'm already bloody... Am I already full? I'm not full. So what's going on? Come on now. Remember to keep that. Let's keep nice and frosty. Here 
Here we go. Here we go. Come on, bring him in. It's exciting, isn't it? Like anything else, it's exciting. I was open, however, for something else. Why is that stuck there? They got their thin pits in the air, look. There's your thin pit in high speed pursuit. Don't come looking over here. Right, we gotta try and think about our getaway. So if I say, that's the planet there, I go in the opposite direction of the planet, I should be fine. We're gonna repair some more. Incoming missile, you having a laugh. There is an incoming missile, apparently. Yep, yeah, thing, things are rebooting. Like, I'm getting greedy, I know I am. Right, have we got collector limpets in the air? I don't know. Yes, we have. We don't know where they are, but we got them. People are being saved. I know they're on to me. Gotta keep cool. There's more coming. There's all sorts of stuff going on, yeah? Still got to get out somehow. But I reckon heading, I think, that way might be the way to do it. Oh, it's spectacular stuff, DJ Burp, it really is. Perhaps I'll turn the lights off. Don't want to tip them off too much, eh?
Right, so I think that's kind of it. I reckon. So, if the planet's that way, if I keep the planet behind me, like that, Silent run in, let's go. Oh, they're on to me, all right. They're in hot pursuit. Just look at that, though. Let him pulse, it'll knock me out. Here it comes. This is my last heat sink. There is space. Right, let's get out of here. Where's the bloody carrier? We're going to be intermidicted all the way back, I guarantee you. Of course there is. I am going to basically, I'm going to unselect that, I'm going to jump, yeah he's not me flying, that's great. get rid of that mass lock, we're done. I don't know, have I got caustic damage or have I not? I just can't tell at the time. It would seem like I have. See, we can burn it off. Right, that's it, caustic damage. Right. What do you mean? What do you mean FSD's malfunction? By crying out loud. There's nothing wrong with it. Brilliant. Right, now. What we want is not that. We want that. And we want that. Oh, look. Interdiction. That's going to be a scythe. Oh, 
Oh look, frame shift drive is disabled. See if I can make this thug. I'm gonna see if I can make the Thargoid sick. I'm kind of low on materials. I need to go and get some, do some material farming. Come on, frame shift drive. We're charging. Brilliant. No! Perhaps we'll just try the silent running again and see what we can do with that. What's the worst that can happen? Go! Yes! I'm try I'll try anything at this stage of the game. I know rolling just works for scouts, but... Next jump. Have I? I've got loads. Well, I got some. I got nine. Don't worry about it. All that just for nine people. Crazy. David, yes, it does. The ECM does defend quite well against it. I just haven't got space to put one on. Right. Where's the bloody fleet carrier? There it is. Like, I'm sure I had more than nine, but there you go. I'll take nine. And then what we'll do is we'll pop into a different ship and go and do some experimentation. I mean, this bit of gameplay is all right. I was hoping for something on foot. To be fair, I really was. Do I get a billion for each of them? I don't think you get that much, but we're going to try that. We're going to go to a... What you call it? Rescue ship. And we're going to see. We're going to put some in a in a container and we're going to find out. Not all of them obviously, we'll take two with us and some other stuff. You know, if you got a billion for each, or even a million, that would be something. The amount of damage you incur on your ship. It's a crazy. And not to mention, all the personal stress you put under doing it. Being sneaky beaky and what have you. Yeah, the barn. 
the Barnacle Matrix site should really start up soon. So you're right there. So we're selling our limpets. And what we'll do, we'll take the nine that we've got. And we're going to transfer... those but I want an unclassified Grelic and I want a Guardian Relic that's what I want Let's go and pile some stuff next to each other with them on a planet somewhere. So, okay. Let's get into the Badger's Op. Oh, yeah, it's only a matter of time before, you know, those Matrix sites wake up. You're right. Right, first off, we're going to see, for science, um, there's our local friendly neighborhood ship, 112 light years away. Right, or we can get over there to that one there, telling. Which is also about well, 55 light years away. But like that's probably close. So we can do that perhaps in one jump. Right. Let's go, go, go. Right. This. DBX Explorer. Nothing fancy. It can jump quite far though. However. We're going to go and do a little bit of science now. And find out how much you get for each of these pods at a rescue ship. Right. Let's go. Shielding or interference preventing underground radar. Well, yeah, there's a lot to be said for this, isn't it? I was expecting, like with these rescues, to be a bit more multifaceted. And you know me, I don't normally do moaning videos. But I've tried to put something constructive together for this Monday's video at 2.30 about my, what my expectations were and how I think it's been a bit of a missed opportunity. So that's coming up Monday. Stock! 07, Commander. I don't know what if you plug three rescued into a Thargoid structure. Perhaps you can't. Don't know. I wonder if anyone's tried. There's the rescue ship, Hunter. We are going to have to see. So we're coming up on the rescue ship. And then we'll find a fr friendly neighborhood planet to do some, run some tests. Because those Thargoid pods, they look very similar to the, it's like sort of a pod-like structure on the roof of those original Thargoid machines we had. You know, I'm just thinking like. And there's a good landable planet right there by the look of it, which is good.
Okay, we are landing pad four. Let's just see. Rescue ship hunter. Commodities. I doubt it. Yes, yes, yes. So it's not going to be here. Contacts. Search and rescue. Is that all? You're getting the same for a normal pod. Well, actually, no, you're getting 149,735 credits per Thargoid storage capsule. Hardly worth it, is it? I mean, I could do quite literally anything and get paid more money than that. And it. So here's the thing. The fact they're paying more, right, as opposed to like a normal escape pod or hostages and all the rest of it, like that, means something's going on, right? Something's going on. Like biological weapons, bit like alien, right? That's what's going on here. It is, isn't it? So there you have it. Okay, so let's launch. Yeah, I think the rescues do have an impact on on the background simulation. Right, can I land on that? Yeah, excuse me. Yes, I can. Let's get down and have a look. Hello, Pep. How are you doing? I have been watching some of your streams while I've been traveling. Very entertaining. <laughs> Modest as always. Right, let's find somewhere that could be potentially flat like that one. Like over there, like in it. I haven't played much Conan lately. There's like Oh, a demand for farming simulator. Oh, there's a demand for Starfield. Oh, Conan. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's get on the ground. <gasps> My body clock is still shot from that Nashville trip. Nashville trip. We've got to find somewhere a bit flat, haven't we? Or 
or flattish. Oh no, what am I doing? Land, land it. Another happy landing. There you go. Right, um... Let's get in the truck. transfer oh what's it doing now right I want to transfer no oh, entry transfer a one unclassified relic one bio storage capsule and a partridge in a pear tree please Brilliant. Let's plop them out. Driver off. Right then. So we've seen all of this. This is nothing new. Shield Look at this! I can hear it breathing. Can you hear that? Let me ramp this up. It's very faint. Yes, making sounds. Has anyone tried shooting it? <laughs> well, look at that. They you can destroy them. All right, we got another one. Um, let's go and get it. So those other items are not making the blindest bit of difference. But what I'm wondering is, is that if you can put that, that, and wherever it is. Where's it gone? There it is. 
Um, I mean, it's a bit bug-like, isn't it? No, nope, it's not letting me do anything with the cutter. Nothing with this either. Not a sausage. <laughs> Let's scan it with the SRV. Of course, I'm too close to it, you know, so let's scoop it up. Let's get away from the ship. Meant to be humans, but I reckon zombies. Fire groups. No, it's you can't do anything like that with it. Unless I've forgotten what I'm doing because I haven't played the game for so long, but. Not a sausage. Not even the data link scanner. Which is a bit odd. Interesting. Well, there you go. Yeah, I have switched the mode. The ship scanner. That is interesting. Let's try that. <laughs> 
bien en ese. That's going to make the blindest bit of difference, but we can try it. Oh, where's it gone? So I've just ejected it, and now it's gone. Oh, there it is. Literally nothing. Which is a bit of a shame. I kind of thought it might have. I did my land. Of course, the cargo scoop would help, wouldn't it? Interesting. Well, what I'm going to do is... Pop it back on the carrier. Well, exactly. Now, come on. That's a far good human hybrid, if ever I've seen it. I mean, it's in a pod. Come on. What's it going to look like? Ooh, spooky. President Trump. <laughs> Eight legs. I don't know. I think it'll definitely be humanoid, though. I'd be surprised if it was anything else. But I think tomorrow we'll go back to the Matrix sites uh, and see what's going on there, if anything. Because, well, because I don't think anything will be until update 17 drops. It could be a human revenant hybrid for all we know. 
floating around, doing its floaty things. But I've enjoyed it, like, right? I've enjoyed this, this gameplay. But it could have been more. To release those pods. No, it could have been more. It's quite frustrating. But hey, we got what we got, and that's what we got. Super bruh! How's it going, dude? Yeah, it could be a big gender reveal party going on there, couldn't it? You never know. I have seen the movie The Flight. I saw the movie The Flight in the cinema. But which version? The Jeff Goldblum version or the original 1950s one, which I didn't see in the cinema? It's Jeff Goldblum, Gina Davis. Back when Gina Davis and Jeff Goldblum were young. Brundlefly. Oh, if you haven't seen it, boys and girls, The Fly is the film to watch. Never mind all the what you call sci-fi these days. You want to watch The Fly. Whatever streaming platform you've got, you watch that tonight. Transfer all to storage. There you go. And that's it from me today. Let's see who's on. Is Pep doing her thing on, on Conan? Because it's always a good watch when Pep's doing something. Let's have a look. Is she on? 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 Come on, Pep. You streaming today? Is she live? Could be. Right, let's do a raid then. So, I'll be back on tomorrow. What's the worst that can possibly happen? Pep's on. She's playing Conan. It's always a good laugh, like I say. Show a little bit of support. If you haven't already done so, like and subscribe. Follow my channel, whatever it is. It means quite a bit. Thanks very much. And 14 of you are now off to go and watch Pepper. See you all next time, everybody. Have a big old seven. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I'll be back on tomorrow.